it is Monday. It is a new weekly reading vlog. And I've never actually filmed in this angle before. Um, but I thought I'd just give you a really quick update before I get on with today's reading. So, yesterday I succeeded in my goal. I finished Clariel. And this was a five star. I am a little bit shook <laughs> because this is currently my favourite book in the series so far. I didn't see this coming at all. This is actually set 600 years before Sabriel. So it has none of the, so it has one, one character the same. But this is, I, I didn't see myself loving this as much as I did. I knew I would love it because I've been enjoying this series. Um, but then I was buddy reading this with Fran, like I have with the rest of the series. And Fran DNF'd it because she wasn't loving it. So I was like, okay, I hope I continue loving it. And I did. To the point it got a five star. All the other books so far, the three I've read before this, got four star. And this got five. So it's safe to say that this is my favourite in the series so far. I adored Clariel. I thought she was such an incredible character. I really loved her whole, um, not so much attitude, but she knew what she wanted or rather what she didn't want. Like she didn't want the whole like marriage and everything. And I really liked how characters dealt with things I just can't say anything without spoiling but there's like one character in particular there was a conversation they had with Clariel and they just sort of accepted what Clariel was telling them and I really appreciated that because you don't get that often you usually tend to get pushback and Clariel didn't get that pushback and I was really happy there were some sad moments in this it didn't actually make me cry but I think it was more because I was in shock at what had happened. And yeah, I I felt sad for Clariel. But I wasn't overly upset with the book. So I, it didn't make me cry. But um, I thought it ended really well. I really enjoyed the epilogue especially. And yeah, I am so happy. So happy. I can't wait to read the next book, which... <laughs> actually made a bit of a boo-boo because Across the Wall, which is the collection of short stories, technically counts as book 3.5. So really should have been read before this. I don't know how much of a difference that will make, but we are, instead of going on to Golden Hand next, because I do still need to get that, um, we are going to move on to Across the Wall, but that's not going to be till April because if you've seen my March TBR, <laughs> you'll know. So yeah, very happy with this. And I actually ended up substituting this and this I'm using for Royal Readathon for my max prompt to read a book set at or beside the sea. Um, because there is a scene in this where they go to a different part of the city that they live and it's literally the sea there. So I use that to my advantage <laughs> and uh, change this up because I don't want to read the bone ships right now. Everyone I know that has tried to read it has either hated it or DNF'd it. And with the mood I've been in lately, I don't want to read it knowing that I'm most likely going to DNF it. I'd rather be in a less slumpy mood when I read it um, to at least give it a chance because I feel if I read it right now, like I'm gutted because I really wanted to read it for Cassidy's book club, but I feel like I can't give my whole self to this book right now because of how I've been feeling. Um, I'm genuinely worried about my March TBR. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put that back on my shelf for now and I'm not going to attempt it. So I've used this one for that prompt as, uh, instead. Um, so now my plan for tonight, I need to finish City of Ashes. I am currently, I've read a little bit today. I've not read much. I've literally read like... 15 pages today um which was before i had dinner um i need to finish this today so i need to read all of this it's possible um i i'm gonna be cutting it fine but i am also tabbing annotating and taking notes um because obviously for by the angel along um but yeah i can't really say much about this because obviously it is a reread for me i do know what happens 
and also it is the second book in the series so I don't want to give any spoilers but yeah I am just gonna put I've put my tv on I'm gonna put some ambiance and oh, I'm not signed in oh that's annoying oh my ipad's downstairs that's even more annoying I'm gonna have to mm. be right back um I got distracted before um I had to log in on my Xbox to my YouTube account because usually I just connect my iPad on my phone um but my iPad's downstairs and this is my phone so I had to quickly connect like sign in on my Xbox so that I don't have to always connect and then when I signed in I noticed that there's a new and final Morbius trailer and I had to watch that but I'm back and I am ready to read this for the rest of the night i have my dr pepper um which isn't gonna last me long to be fair so i'm gonna have to go and get um more drink in a bit um and i'm gonna use that opportunity when i need to get another drink as a snack break to grab some snacks because i'm gonna need it to get through this it is 17 59 i've got this i've had dinner i'm ready i am ready so let's do this It's a lot later. It's 11 o'clock. Um, my hair is looking very dishevelled because I had to get it out of my face and clip it up. But <laughs> I finished City of Ashes. My Royal Reader Thumb TBR is complete. Yes, I had to move around a couple, but I did it. This was for the Lucifer prompt, which is to read a book with a big bad. I mean, Valentine, need I say more? He is definitely the big bad. Um, I'm so happy I managed. I knew I would. I knew I would. But there was one point where I was lagging a bit. But I, I took a break. I got up. I went and got some biscuits because I got my Tesco delivery today, which is good because I've been really fancy in bourbon biscuits. Um... And then I came back up and carried on reading while eating. And I did it. I did it. And I'm very happy. Um, I did tab. I think I annotated this a lot more than I did the first one. I'm probably wrong. I probably did. There is actually a whole section that I underlined. It is my favourite section. It's my favourite quote. And I'm actually going to read it out with no context whatsoever. That you freed a possible criminal by trading away your brother to a warlock who looks like a gay Sonic the Hedgehog and dresses like the child catcher from Cheek Cheek Bang Bang. It is my favourite line in this series. It cracks me up every single time. Um, but yeah, this bit only has this one only has I don't know if you can see it. It only has two blue bits. This one doesn't actually make me cry on rereads because I know how the whole series, I know how the, the whole like world is going. The earlier ones don't really tend to make me cry on rereads anymore, but blue is sadness. So it doesn't have to necessarily make me cry, but I get that lump in my throat. Um, but the first one is um, is more my favourite character is emotionally hurt and I'm like how dare you and then the other one is again a different character emotionally like it was more of like a bittersweet sadness um but yeah I love this encore pile it come out as a five star I don't really see any of them not coming out as five stars at this point this is the first time these have ever gone into core pile, but I just, I love them so much. 
like characters and enjoyment is always going to be a 10 out of 10 for me like even though in this one I'm not a massive fan like one of the characters makes me cringe a lot of the time but they're still one of my favorite characters um which I'll be talking about the cringy moments on my live show which is going to be um Saturday which will be two days before this vlog goes up so but yeah successful successful day I managed to do it and I'm very happy with that um especially scenes I didn't think I would but I'm very excited to start my March TBR tomorrow I'm very scared that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna manage it I'm not gonna get through it but I'm trying to be positive I am going to use my lunch break or straight after work tomorrow to film my wrap up because a couple of the books were library books and I want to take them back on Wednesday and then that means I can also film my haul video. So I am going to catch up with you tomorrow because I'm very tired and I'm going to try and get an early-ish -ish night. Um, it's now quarter past 11. Um, so yeah i'll check in with you tomorrow hello it is tuesday it's the first of march how is it the first of march however it's my birthday this month Woo! um so i joined lisa sprints tonight it was me lisa danny katie and liam and i started ecstasia by claire legrand i've read the first 110 pages so I made a pretty good dent. Um, I am intrigued. Like, I read that in two sprints as well. I'm really intrigued. It feels a bit, not preachy, but it focuses a lot on, like, a village and their saints that are chosen and they're very religious and it feels quite culty. Um, but there is witchcraft in this and i feel like it's just got to that part um so i'm really excited to see where it goes i'm hoping the preachiness <laughs> and the cult ish feeling doesn't continue much i might look at some reviews i'm gonna read this because it's one of my most anticipated i'm not gonna dnf it but um i'm curious to see what people think of it um and to see where it actually goes but I am enjoying it so far, which is great because I needed some books that I'm enjoying. So this makes me happy. But I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell. My eyes have started doing that thing where they're itching because I'm so tired and I need to take my makeup off. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to go sleep. So I'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, it is Thursday. <laughs> um, my hair is ridiculous. I washed it earlier um, and I've let it dry naturally and I haven't brushed it. <laughs> um, I did not catch up with you yesterday. I am doing this, I, don't, I can't remember if I've said, but I'm going to do this whole thing where I try and give myself one day a week doesn't have to be the same day but one day a week every week where I don't read anything or I don't specifically sit like if I feel like picking up something fine but not like setting specific time being like tonight I will read um because I feel like I'm burning myself out and I don't want to slump to the point where I'm no longer enjoying reading um so so last night instead I got into bed and I started watching season eight of Supernatural. I've been wanting to get back into Supernatural for a while because I watched the first seven series years ago and then just stopped. I was like, I'll have a bit of a break before I go into season eight and then I just didn't go into season eight. So first eight episodes of season eight are now watched and I realised I've really missed watching it. Today I got some really cool book mail because my Fairy Loot edition of The Righteous finally arrived. Like this book came out last year. Fairy Loot have been so delayed with it, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I also got some non-book mail. I 
finally got my alligator loki like i pre-ordered this back in like october and it the first like lot of it i just missed out on the first like wave of pre-orders um because this is actually a us only one like this is a special edition i can't remember what um what store or something did these but i found a website a really good website called pops you like which gets some of the us exclusives and it's a uk ship it like ship it like it ships the uk the shipping is like so reasonable because it's uk based i think and the actual funkos themselves you just i think this was like five pound more than what i would have paid if i could have bought it in america um, so I'm really happy that I finally have this because look how cute he is. Oh, don't know where he's going to go. <laughs> Need to have a rearrange, but I'm just so happy. So happy. And then, um, cause this means now the only, the only one I need from the low key, um, like the TV show one is Hunter B15, which is another one that was a, um, I think it was like a con, not a con exclusive. It was some sort of exclusive and it was only in America. And I saw one at Comic-Con on Saturday, but I think it was 30 and I know you can get them cheaper than that on eBay. So I'm going to keep an eye out on eBay for a cheaper one. But yeah, very happy. And then I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to read today because I had a splitting headache all day because I didn't... Um, I didn't sleep well last night. Um, and then obviously I had to be on my computer all day. I also realised I hadn't edited my unboxing, which I filmed on, pretty sure it was Friday last week. Yes, it was Friday. It was Friday. And then I hadn't edited it, so I edited it and got it uploaded. But then Chloe did some reading sprints on her Patreon. So I was reading next daisia and i'm finally at the point where i've got into it well it didn't take me this long to get into it like i have this much left i'd started getting into it at this point and i this is where i started reading today i'd already started getting into it because it, it's very religiousy and culty but this part that I started today is more where the witchcraft comes into it and boy the witchcraft if it weren't for the witchcraft I would have DNF'd this but the reason I wanted to read this so bad is because it literally says girl saint witch it is witchy and I knew it would be religious because the blurb is literally the quiet village of Haven is protected by four saints. Pious young women chosen by the elders to defeat an unspeakable evil, one that has slaughtered nine men. When Amity joins their ranks, she discovers a hidden magic that gives her unfathomable power and destroys everything she believes in. But it literally says, fierce feminist horror that rivals Legrand's critically acclaimed Sawkill Girls. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's very much a horror. There are trigger warnings. There i i don't actually are the trigger warnings in the arc i'm not sure um i remember seeing the trigger warnings somewhere but i don't think they're in the book like in the physical arc but definitely check out the trigger warnings um i did before i i started it because i had a feeling this was going to be one that i would need the trigger warnings for um but yeah i'm really really loving this I don't know if it will be a five star, but considering I don't really read horror, I'm loving this so much. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I have, as you can see, I've had a PJ day today because I just, I got up and I just didn't want to get changed. So I didn't. Perks of working from home means I can do that. Um, I also um, finally watched the announcement for the week long magical readathon um that um g is doing in march and i really love that one it's only two prompts and two 
she said in her video that you don't necessarily have to complete both prompts in that week. Let's be real, if I can fit my March books into it, then I'm going to, but I'm, I'm really happy with the fact that I don't necessarily have to read them in that week because we're not even going to go into my March TBR, but I am going to plan and most likely post a particular TBR and to like update on where I'm already at with Magical Readathon because obviously there was the character prompts and things like that. So yeah, um, I am actually going to go to bed now. I really wanted to see if I could finish this tonight because this is all I've read all week and I know that I should be like, I should be relaxing a little bit and not stressing myself out, especially with all the slump. I was hoping I could get a little bit of a head start on March and maybe finishing at least two books this week. I mean, I know there is still Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'm hoping I can finish this tomorrow. If I read on my lunch break and then also read as soon as I finish work, because I do have the Uprooted live show tomorrow night. Um, but honestly, I've not got much to say on that book because I DNF'd it 108 pages in. So it's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, so... I am going to finish this tomorrow because I'm really enjoying it and I want to finish it. And then I don't know what I want to start next. I think to make me feel a bit accomplished, I might read my Moon Knight collection because I know I can get that done quickly because it's comics. And it will make me feel a bit more accomplished having two done. So I think that's my plan. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to read Moon Knight. And then I don't know what I'm going to pick up after that. Um, so yeah. This was a really long update, but it's fine. Um, me and Liv also yesterday, we we had this whole thing that we was going to like plan out May's readathon. We looked at our notes. Turns out we've already planned May's readathon. Um, but we have now completely planned October's. And like, I know I keep going on about it, but I am so excited for October's. Like, you don't understand just how excited I am for it. Like, it's going to be amazing. Um... And we've also planned out um, our like our like itinerary for when we're in Florida, um, so like where we want to go on each day and everything. And I'm so excited. Um, each time we plan something new for those two weeks, I get that little bit more excited. And then soon we're going to be able to start actually booking like reservations at the. Um, like restaurants and booking discovery cove and things like that so i'm so excited but on that note i am actually going to go to bed now it is seven minutes past ten um but where i've had a headache today like on the first sprint that chloe did i read like 30 pages and then i fell asleep i literally woke up two minutes before the end of the sprint I got like a 20 minute nap and it actually cleared my headache a bit. So I clearly needed it. Just that quick little power nap. Um, because then I managed to like power through like however much this is. It's a lot. It's just over 200 pages. So yeah, I'm very happy with my reading tonight. Um, so yeah, I will catch up with you tomorrow when hopefully I can have my first book of March finished. Hello, it is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Um, so I don't have any reading updates, but I um, I did my hair. I'm really digging the curly short pink hair right now. Um, so yeah, also, I don't know if you noticed, this has gone blonde. Like it was supposed to in the first place. Um, I think I'm gonna touch up my roots and then I've I've got some pink hair dye, which should match this pink um so that it can be a bit more even all over because i'm really digging the pink and i kind of want to keep it anyway that's not what i was here for um yeah i, I sorted my hair because as you saw last night it was like ridiculously curly and i have a live show tonight so <laughs> yes but i haven't done any reading because i've been working i'm literally about to go back on um back to work for my lunch break i've got three minutes left on my lunch break but i got some mail that is not books <laughs> Um, two of my Funko pre-orders came. So we have Hawkeye. We have all Hawkeye. And this is my favourite. We have Kate with Lucky the Pizza Dog. Like, look how cute. Look at Lucky. And Kate. 
so I'm very happy. Um, I also got notifications to say that my Yelena and Echo ones have been shipped, which is awesome because then I'll have the main four from Hawkeye Series 1. Um, there are a couple of exclusives, but I'm having some tr trouble finding those because um, I don't think they were UK exclusives. So we'll see how that goes. I am tackling the rearrange tomorrow and I might... Mm, actually, no. I was going to say I might film my update like my updated Funko collection but I think I'm gonna hold off on that because I want to wait until my other Hawkeye ones have come plus I'm waiting on two more pre-orders which they were supposed to be dispatched late January and then it got pushed back to late February and the site is still saying late February but it is now the 4th of March so I don't know we'll see um but yeah I am going to catch up with you later and hopefully I'll be able to tell you I've finished Extasia because I am determined to finish it today. So it's a lot later. I am so tired. Like, you can probably see my eyes. I'm tired. So, we had the live show for Uprooted. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. I got to say how much I hated the book. Or rather the 108 pages I did read. Um, but um, after after the live, we ended up staying on and talking for like an hour. And we have almost completely planned our books now for the rest of the year for the book club, which is awesome. Um, and then we come off. I got myself a tea. And my goal was to finish Ecstasia. Let me move this. My goal was to finish Ecstasia, and I did. This was a four star. I will say, no spoilers, but this was a bit touch and go at one point. At one point, I was like, please don't tell me it's going in the direction I think it is. But it, it didn't. It, it didn't go in that direction. So I was like, whew, because I was fully about to put the book down and DNF it at like a hundred pages from the end or something um just in my rage i don't think i would have but i would have rage read the last little bit if that had happened but the thing i thought was going to happen didn't happen does that make sense um and i actually really liked the direction this went in i really liked the ending as well like i can't say anything about the ending without spoiling but i really liked how the ending was done especially for a standalone horror mm. it was so good i'm really happy with this it becomes a lot less um religious culty i mean the cult is still very relevant but certain characters are starting to like open their eyes to it and that's when they discover the witchcraft and i loved the witchcraft this is also sapphic there is multiple queer characters in this and I'm like yes I loved I loved 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 it so much um so yeah I there were so many things I loved about this book but I can't say a lot of them because spoilers <laughs> But I loved this and I'm really happy. I did sort of think it would be a four star and not a five star. Um, I honestly don't know what would have made it a five star, to be honest. Um, atmosphere was a 10 out of 10. Like, it's the only thing that got a 10 on Core Pile for this book. But like, honestly, the atmosphere was just perfect. So creepy. All the creepy vibes. Loved it. There was like gore in it. Like there's one scene in particular. Oh, mm, it's giving me chills just thinking about it. But it was so descriptive. And I'm like, I would love to be inside Claire Legrand's mind when she's writing this because amazing. I love it. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed this. And I'm really happy. And this was actually for Roll of Reads. This is my first book and this was Mood Read. So book one complete. I'm very happy. 
um the next book i'm gonna read I, it's it's over there in my car i'm not getting up to get it um i'm gonna read moon Knight because i feel like i can get that finished tomorrow um which will make me feel very accomplished um because tomorrow i'm having a day of like tidying and cleaning i am gonna see if one of the books i've got on my tbr this month is on script as an audiobook so that i can stick that on while i'm uh doing housework um and we'll see but uh i do have the, the, the annoying thing is i do have the audiobooks for cinderella is dead Addie larue and oh no just those two but they're the two that i'm tabbing and annotating <laughs> so <laughs> yeah okay um so yeah well, i'm gonna see if a couple more like one of the others or something is available but on that note I've started yawning, so I'm now going to go to bed because I'm tired. And I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, it is Saturday. I mean, technically it's Sunday, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, today has been a really productive day. So I literally got up and then my whole plan was that I wanted to deep clean the kitchen and then have a, a bit of a tidy up in my bedroom because it was getting a bit messy is an understatement um but i wanted to listen to an audiobook while i did it and i was looking at my audiobooks or my tbr and all of the ones i could get on audiobook like i couldn't read so i've got one that it's a buddy read that's not starting till monday i've got one that Liv has told me to read right near the end of the month because it might make me slumpy of how much i enjoy it um one isn't available on script until the 18th and the other two are ones that I'm tabbing and annotating so I'm going to need to listen along with the physical book in front of me um so I was like well then what, what am I going what am I going to listen to I listened to the love hypothesis <laughs> I have absolutely no shame no shame whatsoever so I obviously read it in november i reread it in january and i've just reread it again clearly i'm rereading this every two months and i genuinely have no regrets whatsoever the audiobook is insanely good especially with that scene if you know you know that scene on audible it was probably not a good idea because it got to that that scene and I literally just stopped and I was just sat listening to the audiobook and I just stopped tidying for that entire scene but um which is why I probably didn't finish tidying but I really enjoyed it obviously I mean I'm not going to say anything else about it because you know my feelings on love hypothesis by now um but yeah and then I made dinner made spaghetti carbonara um and then got ready for the um love show for city of bones which was actually so much fun like i really enjoyed talking about city of bones um did i just say city of bones city of ashes i really enjoyed talking about city of bones last month but this month was even more fun because we started to get a bit more in depth into the storyline and everything and i really enjoyed it and i was joined by danny lisa and katie um which was awesome and there was like everyone in the comments seemed to be like really enjoying chatting and it was just so much fun we ended up talking for nearly two hours i don't envision these um live shows being just an hour because there's honestly so much to talk about with the shadow hunters books that you need more time um but then that finished and i started oh, do you know what i set up all my files for my vlog apart from this one obviously to start editing and i was just like no i want to read moon Knight." so i read the entirety of this it is 12 issues of moon Knight, and you know what i actually really enjoyed this so i don't think the tv show is going to be based off this one this is the 2011 one i don't think um, the TV show is going to be based off this one, um, which is fine. It's fine. 
um but i did want a little bit more of a different insight to moon Knight. and this one's really interesting because it features like some names like um captain america spider-man and wolverine are mentioned quite a lot obviously um and then there's also echo which if you've watched hawkeye you'll know who echo is and matt murdoch is mentioned and carol danvers there's quite a few who are mentioned and it was just really fun um this got a four star i really enjoyed this um i would definitely reread this one and it's made me even more excited one for the tv show but also to continue reading um the other moon knight comics because there are so many um so yeah i'm really glad i read this the artwork is gorgeous like let me find like i'm a little bit in love with moon knight in this like look how cool it's so cool i really i really like it i want to find one with moon knight like look at that that's so so good um so yeah really glad i read this and i'm even more excited for the tv show ah um but on that note oh this also was for um roll of reads readathon for main character over 30 because mark's mark specter is definitely over 30 um so yeah that's two books down for roller reads i do need to figure out how i'm logging them because there is a form i think so i need to do that for my first two books so yeah i'm very excited that i am two books down of my six which is very good and when i say two of my six that's just my roll of reads books that's not including the rest of my tbr i'm literally two books down on my entire tbr we're not going to talk about that because that's making me scared for the rest of the month anyway i'm gonna go i'm gonna wrap this vlog up now because i'm very tired it's like 1am so tired i just want to sleep and tomorrow i've got to edit my vlog film my wednesday video do sprints i've got the frostbite live show tomorrow evening on liv's channel and i'm just tired so yeah busy day tomorrow so i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog there was more footage than i thought there was um which is good um so i hope you did enjoy this vlog even if there wasn't a super super big amount of reading but please like subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you next time bye